is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. I have not been doing so well, as I'm sure you can probably hear in my voice, I'm very congested. Um, had uh, pretty much a really shitty two days, uh, actually three days, because, uh, you know, I started off on Christmas Eve that I was supposed to do a special podcast with all of you. Um, Friday. It's actually my day off, which I know is crazy because it's not like I just didn't have two days away. It's not like they were days that I actually got to uh, relax. It was days that I was suffering. Um, and this Friday, I actually have a few things I have to do on Friday, including I got a haircut appointment. So this Friday, I have to take off. Two thumbs fucking down for me. Doing a nine to five would be easy. <laughs> In addition to my normal income, I need to raise about another roughly $16,000 between now and April. I know that many of you actually cheered uh, some cheers during the time away. I apologize. There's no way I'm going to be able to do like a half an hour of reading those cheers tonight. You know, but I want to say thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> Wow. Even though there was quite a lot of scumbags who sent me really negative, insulting messages as well. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Um, dumbass people with conspiracy theories like, I'm faking my illness, which makes no fucking sense. Yes, I'm faking my illness to not do the holiday podcast that traditionally gets a lot of attendance and actually makes me some good money. Yeah, I'm faking an illness to not do it. I and mean, people are so fucking dumb that I don't even want to get into it because it's just going to get me upset. But, <clears throat> you know, I do want to say thanks to everyone who was uh, very, very uh, positive. And thanks to those who were patient. I apologize. Obviously, I had no plans to get sick like I did. Um, and it sucks that it happened. Okay? Oh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, I guess I'll start recording. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm playing Minecraft and I apologize because I'm very under the weather. I've been very sick for the past two days. I only got the ability to talk back earlier today. My throat is still swollen. My head is still massively congested, so I can only talk like this. I can't really be myself, and I apologize, but... <clears throat> I said that tonight I would do some Minecraft because it's more laid back, it's more chill, and it doesn't require me to really do... Uh, even though there's a lot of talking, it's not a ton of like, oh my god, yelling or screaming or anything like that. And it's a lot more interactive when you guys, uh, you know, interact with me on stream. It's a lot better than, say, a stream where I have to, like, hyper-focus on, on reading or commenting on, on a multiplayer gameplay or whatever. So anyway, I just loaded it, and if you remember where we left off, I was underground mining. I just loaded the game, and look what just happened. I literally loaded the game. I was supposed to be underground. Instead, I fell out of the sky and smashed and died. It makes absolutely no sense what just happened. Zero. I have no idea where I am. I have no idea what just happened. It spawned me in the sky and killed me. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. It was showing an island in the rain with it with a sheet. Maybe it's my original spawn point over here. Maybe that's where all my stuff is. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it. 
Super bad can't resell for the 22nd month in a row and ask am I feeling better? No. I can still I can talk, but I still feel like shit. I do, I feel awful. But you know, being away for two days with no streams is not a good idea when I need to raise money to pay my bills in less than a week. So I have to be here as much as I can, even though th Friday I have to be off. So <laughs> things are just not working out so well for me recently, I'm just being honest here. They're just not. Um but there's not much I could do about it. I guess I'm just going to be screwed for, for January and not pay any of my bills or something. I don't know. I don't know what else to do anymore. I don't even know what to say. Give me money, money. Uh, Cody Carl's Charity said, What would you do the morning after drinking a lot during your old YouTube videos? The morning after, the morning after drinking a lot? Um, I would sleep in. <laughs> I like how you're laughing, too. Well, it's funny. Oh, yeah. Mash Labrador did a 100-bit cheer. He says, I read on Twitter, you and Kat got to go to an Italian restaurant on Christmas Eve. Great. Hopefully it was good. No, that didn't happen at all. If you really want to know the truth, we went out to a local fast food Chinese place. But we won. Good Dark shit. Dark Life a stupid, apparently ugly, jobless, narcissistic, egotistical man-child who banks <laughs> people's money just by sitting on his fat there we ass. Go. Sucking a view against 21st century will never adapt to a professional level Listen in to gaming. This guy. Do not donate to this loser. He only <laughs> using good money just to buy fast food, making his fans oh, pay fast for his food. own bills and keeps most of his unearned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now back to the game. I use my money to buy fast food. That's interesting. Because I was feeling like terribly like shit. And even though we were originally planning on maybe going somewhere nicer, we just went to the closest place possible, and we got fast food Chinese. And that's what we did for Christmas Eve. <clears throat> and we came right home. Because <clears throat> I felt awful. No, I, I honestly, if you want my honest opinion, what I really think happened was, it's a combination of overworking my, the hell out of myself these past couple of weeks. As you know, I streamed nine straight days without a break. Um, then took a day off when I, all I did was run around and do things and was busy all day, didn't really relax, then came back for my incredibly busy holiday weekend with all my special events and everything. <clears throat> so I think I overworked myself way too much, and then... Basically, during the holiday events, as you guys know, I basically kind of got really worried because there weren't a lot of contributions coming in. This kind of shit needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. And I was kind of counting on my holiday stuff to do really well. And I told you guys, I don't even, I mean, not, no exaggeration, I don't have enough money right now to pay my bills in January at all. And I don't really know what to do. Uh, McDonald's. So when, when it was like really slow, I was playing, you know, especially this Sunday, I was doing Street Fighter and stuff and nothing was coming in. People were complaining it's boring. I was like... This is not good, like, I need th that money, I really do, I need that money to pay my bills. I really, 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 really need your support right now, folks. By the way, I really desperately need the money to help with my tax situation. So, hint, hint, save the house. I'm really fucking nervous. So basically, I think what happened is, you know the term sick with worry? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I think that's what it is. I was drinking while I was overstressed, and I just got sick with worry about shit going on, and I let myself get sick. I think that's honestly what happened. It's absolutely pathetic, but that's how people are on the internet. That was pathetic, in my opinion. Uh, wow! Congratulations, you're pathetic. Pretty pathetic. A little sensitive sissy ninny. Little special snowflakes who've been pet, pet and, you know, protected by their parents all their lives. It's the parents' fault. You know, it's, it's been a very tough year for me. It's been a great year, but financially it's been a very tough year for me. Where a lot of things have just been completely out of my control that kind of screwed me over. I'm not going to talk about it tonight because we're going to talk about this on the podcast. It's one of the major segments of the podcast. So I'm going to talk about that on the podcast. I really don't want to talk about it all night tonight. I just don't. I just want to chill with you guys, you know. But I think that's what it was. Like I got really just sick with worrying about the future. First, I got to get my horse. Where the fuck is it? Where's my horse? I just completed a mission. My horse is missing. 
I got no freaking horse. No horse and no money. <sighs> so really bad. You know, it sucks. <clears throat> it's just life. It happens. You know, and it's, it stinks. But, you know, it is what it is. That's life, I guess. And all I can do is move forward positively. You know, tomorrow I am going to hopefully do the podcast, even though I'm going to sound terrible. Hopefully the podcast will go well. I guess we'll see. Remains to be seen, right? How it's going to go. Can't you need to get out now? That place is toxic. You have no horses available? Why? <laughs> oh, fuck! Hopefully I can raise money to pay bills, and if I can't, what else can I do, right? I don't even know what else to say about it. Like, it's not, I don't even think it's really worth talking about, because if I don't raise enough money, I don't raise enough money, I guess I get into trouble. <laughs> what else can I say? You know, I hear you, I am the knight. I am the knight says, maybe I, I shouldn't overwork myself around Christmas, because it doesn't necessarily equate to better quality stuff. Uh, I hear you. You know, for me, I mean, again, I'm just being very real with all of you. I'm very, very worried about money. This year has not been a good year for me money-wise because of many different factors that I actually will explain on my podcast. Oh, uh, no. That's my horse, stupid. This horse is fucking dead, dude. The horse is dead. When I get to do it, hopefully tomorrow, and it's stuff that I can't really fix or change. It's stuff that's, that's just changing around me, and... It makes me very worried about the future to the point where, like, you know, I like, well, the only way that I can make more money is to work harder or work more, stream more, do more content, right? That's the only way I can think of to fix the situation for something that I can control. And so that's why I said nine straight days of streaming without a break at all. My voice was completely shot. I took one day off that really wasn't a day off because I ended up going out and doing stuff like errands and stuff with Kat. And then when I came back, I overworked myself again with the Christmas weekend stuff and you know it just ended up kind of backfiring and because people didn't actually turn tune uh, tune in necessarily for the holiday stuff like i thought they would like they had previously <clears throat> so it ended up kind of be a bust for me you know overworking myself and really not getting anything out of it and then getting sick on top of it so i've had enough excuses it just seems to me like people are fucking lazy step up i've always done the wrestling sims and they were always a hit this year they were kind of a bust the, the holiday marathon last year was a huge hit. This year it was a bust, right? And what, what was different? Uh, I don't know. Well, no one's really talking to me anymore now. Some people are taking off for the night. Gee, guys, do you think that I was faking my illness all along like some idiots have been saying? Phil's been faking it all along. He's a faker. Idiots. Ah, the salty tears. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now I get my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh, easy to eat. Oh, Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.